Hey guys, today we're gonna to make chicken in Voltini. There's so many ways to do this. I'm gonna show you one way, one of my favorite ways to do it. Let's prep all these ingredients right now. I always like to show you all the prepping of the ingredients and then we go over them quick. I have eight ounces of spinach, roughly. I had a pound container, I just took half of it. A half a cup of low sodium chicken stock. We're gonna use the juice of one lemon, a couple of tablespoons of butter, about a cup of Fontina cheese. If you don't have access to Fontina, just use mozzarella, a soft provolone would be great. I have a half a cup of seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. You know, you could season your own if you want. I have about a quarter cup of parsley, minced fresh parsley that we'll put on for the sauce at the end. We have a bunch of garlic. So what I did here is I sliced a bunch of garlic. That's gonna be for the sauce we make. And then I just took two more cloves and I smashed them. And then those are gonna be to uh, season the spinach that we're gonna saute first. A little bit of wine we're gonna put in here. Already did the salt and pepper on the chicken. I feel like it's easier just to leave it over there. We got it set up. After we roll everything, we're gonna put it in a little bit of flour. Honestly, the ingredients I have here, you can make so many different dishes with. It's really just the preparation. Turn your heat to about medium low. And heat this up for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna put our oil, garlic, and do that spinach. All right, guys, my pan's hot enough. I'm gonna put down some olive oil. I'm using extra virgin. You can use regular olive oil. Just a couple tablespoons, you don't need so much. And then I'm gonna take that whole clove of garlic here that I smashed, and just throw it down. Make sure you took any skin off of it that's there too. I hope you guys like the new rating system that I have that went into effect a few videos ago. And very quickly, it's gonna get golden like that. I'm just gonna let this flavor the oil, then I'm gonna remove it. I know some of you are going, what the heck are you doing? I don't need this in the spinach that we're gonna create that's gonna go inside the chicken. And then here's the spinach. Put a little bit of water to help steam it too if you want, but you don't really need to. In the end, we're gonna have to drain the water anyway. And the bowl that you had your spinach, you could just save because we're gonna mix the stuffing in here. All right, so it's been about a minute and we're good. Season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Bring this off to the side and then we're gonna do the mushrooms. For the most part, we're just gonna get the water out of these mushrooms as well too. And this is only a half a pound of mushrooms, but you can see how it's filling up this pan fairly quickly. I'm using a 12 inch stainless right here. All right, I'm just gonna try to spread them out as best I can. I'm about a four out of 10 on my heat scale right here, or two out of five. Here is my spinach. So you can kind of just try to press it through a little bit to get some of that extra water. See that moisture coming out of there? And you can see how much water now is coming out of the mushrooms. All right, most of the water's out of here. I'm gonna put some salt down. Some people put salt to initiate the water release in the beginning. I don't do that. That's not how I cook mushrooms. A little bit of pepper. Yep, I got a new pepper grinder. So many people were like, what are you, what are you doing? I'm like, okay, I'll get one. All right, that's good. I'm gonna pull that off to heat, chop up your spinach, and then we're gonna combine that with the mushrooms. I can tell right now it's probably good. We're gonna have a little bit too much stuffing, so you'll be able to save it. Probably just gonna increase the amount of chicken on the print recipe. So we have cheese, the spinach, and the mushrooms. I'm gonna put in just about a quarter cup of those breadcrumbs. And then I'm gonna combine that stuffing together. If it's a little dry, which it probably won't be because of the wet spinach and everything, but if it is dry, then you can just add a little bit of olive oil in here. Give it a taste. You have a chance now if it needs any seasoning, which is probably not gonna need any. And that's delicious. Fontina is so good. All right. So I'm gonna put about that much, which is about two tablespoons of it. Let's roll one up. And I'm just kind of pressing it down right here, like this. Roll it up and then secure it as best you can. You go through and then kind of try to push it through the other way. Like that. 
Ya. Okay. And there's another one. And you could probably do a better job than me securing it. The big one that I have here, I used, I used two toothpicks. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna roll this in the flour. Okay, then pat it dry. Like, not dry, pat it, just pat it to shake off all that excess. Right, that's gonna help us when we fry these. It's gonna get it a little bit more color on them. We'll do them all and then we're gonna sear these up. At this point, you can put your oven to the middle rack and set it to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, guys, we're gonna put about medium heat here, maybe about a four out of 10, tiny bit less than medium. I have a new pan I'm using. I just took another 12 inch stainless pan. Just gonna put down a little bit of olive oil. They just fit. Spend about a minute. You can turn your pan a little bit if you want. If you think you're not getting exact amount of heat. So it's been about two and a half, three minutes before I touch these. Let's see if we get any sticking at all. Look at that. Look at that, how it moves. All right, so that's what you want. You have, you have no issue now, which a lot of people complain about that with stainless. That's looking nice. That's looking really nice. Yep, those are perfect. And I'm very pleasantly surprised at all the stuffing, it's all, it's all staying in there. Oh yeah, these are looking beautiful, look at that. I'm gonna try to get like a little bit more the other side, I'm not gonna be able to get every bit of it. So we're gonna pull these out of the pan and we'll make the sauce. They're pretty much brown on all sides, but they're not cooked all the way on the inside. I'm gonna lower the heat down to about medium low. It's gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here. We'll do the garlic for about a minute. Lots of garlic in there. It's golden already. Half a cup of white wine, dry white wine. All right, about that much. Chicken stock, half cup too. Just turn the heat up to high, medium high, whatever. With your wooden spoon, just remove all the brown bits at the bottom here, okay? We're gonna make just a little sauce right here. Just, we're not, we don't have that much sauce. We're gonna let this reduce by about half. It's gonna take about two or three minutes once it comes to a boil. All right, see how I've taken all of it off the bottom there? Now it's clean and we're making, it's a four letter word. It starts with F. That's good. Going back down to medium low, I'm gonna put in the juice of a lemon or about two tablespoons. I'm not being exact here. Let's give the sauce a little taste and we're gonna put salt and pepper in here if we need it. That's good, a little thin. I'm just gonna thicken it up just a touch more. That's all you gotta do is raise the heat back up and do it. Timing this one perfect with the taste tester. He's gonna get home in about 20 minutes. Right, that's good now. I'm gonna lower it down. I'm gonna put some butter in here. It's a couple tablespoons of butter. You know, I'm putting it in now. You could put it in at the end too. And then I'm gonna put the chicken back in here. Gonna spoon a little bit of that sauce on top just to moisten those up. Okay, and then, all right, so just a little bit of breadcrumbs on top. You know, you can let a little bit sneak in there into the sauce, which will further thicken it up a little bit. Almost doing like, kind of like an oregano style here. And you know, I said a quarter cup, but you don't need that much. You just need whatever will cover your chicken. 375 Fahrenheit, it's gonna take about 10 to 20 minutes. Let me get that in the oven. It took about 15 minutes, I left it in the oven. You can, if you have an instant read thermometer, you can check it part of the way. Let's check it now. And what do we got here? Yeah, this is gonna go up to about 160. Yeah, we're at 160 right now. Hey, buddy. Well, you know what? I'm not even gonna tell him what's in it. Let's see what he thinks of it. Make sure you find your toothpicks. That, this one was hard to find. And you can see the beautiful piece of chicken right there with the stuffing. Would you say this is like food that you can make at Thanksgiving? I wouldn't say Thanksgiving, but I would say- Do you like with turkey? Uh, you could do this with a turkey. Definitely, you could do this with turkey breasts. That would be really good. And that's a really good idea. All right, so let's try it, buddy. But, but make sure it's gonna be hot. I wanna try it too. Mm. That reminds me of piccata. What do you think? It's hot. 
Got him some water, and then he can say now. So what did, what did you think of it, buddy? I don't know how many, um... Mmm. Do whatever you want, man. Give it an eight and a half. Eight and a half, okay. I'll take it. You want the rest of that right there? Yeah. I think it's delicious. I don't have any reasons to give it an eight and a half because it's like so good. Special thanks to Patreon producers Chris Whalen, Steve Winitsky, Paul Walter Hauser, Elizabeth Shaw, Joe Hardage, John Andolino, Kenneth Parker, Matt Fisher, Richard C., Tom Branca, Mike Tamburino, Matthew Amore, Richard P. Born Vanek, Matt Gramke, Alex Eckleberry, Andrew Juhas, Paul Batman, Patrick Lang, John Kelly, Jonathan Papini, Ronnie Mask, Trevor, JB, and Monica Tarot. Thank you.